When you guys are setting up your slings, they have to be fit to your body. And when you're fitting your sling to your body, there's an admin position as I'm talking to you now. And there's a single deployed position that's going to provide me and assist me, not just simply exist within the recoil management of the weapon system. When I make that rifle to shoulder connection, I am going to reach up and out and under the sling. And as I reach under the sling, as the radius bone right here within my forearm is in line with the gun, notice what's running over and building tension, the sling, right? This is a huge concept. A lot of guys run their slings back here for mobility purposes. And when I reach out, do I have any sling tension? No, it's like a loose rubber band, right? Keep that rubber band tight. Put it right in front of your non-dominant side connection. Up and, or I'm sorry, under and then over the rail. This is huge, guys. When Chris uh, was a student of mine in California, he learned this. He was like, dude, got to change it. And now he gets pissed off at every student that comes to the class that doesn't at least try it, right? So you don't have to change anything about your rifle. Shoot mine. All right, and it'll show you the difference between having that sling set up properly or just simply existing as dead weight. Now, types of slings that are out there. This is an Edgar Sherman design. It doesn't get any more simple than this. Virtually, without the QDs, there is, this is, makes no sound. It also fits right into a pocket. I can deploy it out. I can connect it to virtually any rifle that has a QD um, slot, key mod slot, whatever. A great sling. I've used a ton from the Magpul slings, from the Blue Force slings to the all different types, right? A two-point sling is definitely the gold standard. I went from a three-point sling in the Marine Corps, they went to finally a two-point. I ran a one-point, I've ran them all, and I think that the two-point gives you the most asset in the not just the stability within long-range uh, shots, but also within the mitigation of recoil impulse. Manipulation and stuff with a subgun, I think that there is a place with a single-point sling, but with a 14.5, 12.5, or an AR platform, open-range environment, not in a CQB sense, I really think that the two point is the standard. So if you guys have that front connection to the rear, think about when we start working the isolation drills. If you're really getting fucking punched by that uh, uh, recoil impulse with the, the arm brace, because the stock's obviously gonna give you a little bit more to brace up against, maybe just slide it a little bit forward. And if you need help moving it anywhere or coming up with creative ways to connect that while still running your light where it's at, feel free, we can move everything, we can, we can uh, take time to adjust it so that you're not struggling all day or wishing you did or saying you will and never do, right? All right.